Welcome to Computer Science Principles. Follow along with the curriculum at bjc.edc.org. Unit 3. Lists. Lab 1. Page 4. Lists of lists. Okay, so inside Unit 3 lists, we're going to go to Programming Lab number 1, Lists of Lists. So here are three lists of lists. One is a list of world capitals and their countries. That's the first one. One is a list of showtimes on the four screens of a movie theater. And one is a to-do list with categories. So take out the trash is the first item of this list. Then there's a list of things. Then team practice, what are the plants? And then there's a list here for this item as well. Okay, so it says load the project above by clicking on the picture. Experiment with list operations like length of, item of, to learn how they treat the lists of lists. Okay, so let's grab those, uh, those blocks. Um, item blank of list and length of list. So if we put the first list here, in length of list and click we're given eight because it's finding the length of this list and that doesn't mean the individual white field boxes it's talking about the primary bucket so we discussed this in an earlier video as well but this list contains one bucket here which happens to contain a list the second bucket here the third bucket fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth so it contains eight buckets so that's why it's uh, providing us with a length of eight. Now the next one, if I look for item one of list, is gonna give me, it's returning a list because in the primary bucket number one, that contains the first list, which is Quito and Ecuador. If I change this to last, is gonna provide us with a list, Jakarta and Indonesia. And we could also choose random or we could just um, choose a specific number in here as well. So everything is working out as expected. Okay, if we choose this second list, the length, well, length is the number of primary buckets. This is a bucket, two, three, four. So it returns four, seems good. Okay, item one of prov uh, provides us with the first list what's you know the contents of that first primary bucket so everything seeming like it's working out there okay next one length of this list well primary bucket number one primary bucket two primary bucket three primary bucket four primary bucket five so therefore it returns five because there's five primary buckets when we look for item one of this list it first returns take out the trash because that's what's in the first primary bucket if we change it to two, it's now providing us with a list with four items because that's what's in primary bucket number two. Number three is just team practice. That's what lives there. Number four is also not a list, just says water the plants. Number five is a list and it contains these three items. Math assignment, read pages and history paper. So everything is as expected from these two functions length of and also the item five of list. Okay, so question three says, does this expression report eight or 16? Make a guess first and then build it to check. Well, here we're looking at the length of this list and the number of primary buckets are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is going to return a value of eight. It's not looking at the number of fields inside each list. It's just looking at the number of primary buckets. So this list contains eight primary buckets. Number four, what will this expression report and why? So item two of this list. Well, the number of primary buckets are one, two, three, four. It's four primary buckets. The second item second primary bucket is this one right here. So it's actually going to return a list containing these three values, 445, 730, 
and 1015. So that's what this thing reports. It reports a list containing these three values. Okay, number five. Does this expression report 915, the list 915, or a list containing three values, 445, 730, and 1015? Well, let's take a look at what's happening. Again, we've got multiple parentheses here, multiple reporter blocks. So on the inside, 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 we have a list containing four primary buckets, and each of these items is a list. Then outside of this inner parentheses, we have item one of this list. Well, item one of this list of lists is the first primary bucket, which contains a list. So that's the list that is 615 and 915. So then when we want all but the first of this, because that's what's returning with item one of list, is a list with two items. So then all but the first of this list with two items is just the second item, the only one left that's not the first because it wants all but the first. So that's 915. So it's going to report 915. Okay, here we're told a little about the notation. So these curly brackets and then 445, 730, and 1015 is how we represent this list. So this is a visual representation of a list with text. So that's a list. Okay, number six. What will this expression report and why? Build and run it in Snap. So you can build it in Snap, but let's just, um, let's have a think. So again, we've got lists inside lists. So the first list contains three primary buckets, three um, items, and then that is inside of another list. That becomes the second primary bucket, the second item within this list where the first item is Augusta, and then the second item is the, these three cities. Um, and so item three of this list actually doesn't exist um, because there's it only seems to be that there's two items of this list. The first item is Augusta, and the second item contains a list of three, and the third item just isn't there. There is no third item. So this inner inner list is seen as one item that is in the second position. So let's build it real quick to see um, what this thing shows. Okay, so I've assembled my pieces, my blocks. So I've got item three of this list. Now, straight away, we can see that there's only two items here. So this is a nice way to think about it. Item three of this, well, let's check it out, is blank, is empty, there's nothing there. So even when we put this one in, which is what the question is asking us to, to think about, item three of this, well, this is item one, item two is here, item three is just not there. So it's returning blank, it's returning empty, or it's returning nothing, not there. It is definitely not returning zero though, because that would indicate that there was a zero here. And in fact, if I press it now, it does return zero because the third item of this list now, one, two, three, is zero. But if this is empty, now it's just returning empty. But if it's not there, it's also returning empty or just not there. Okay, next, determine what each of the following expressions will report without building them in Snap. So this is number seven. So number seven, we have item one of some list, and that list is really item two of this list. So let's look at the inside list. We've got um, capital cities and we've got countries. So outside of this list, it looks for item two. So item two is gonna be, well, this is primary bucket one, this is primary bucket two. So it's Copenhagen and Denmark. That's what item two of this list provides. Copenhagen and Denmark, two items of a new list, of a much shorter list, Copenhagen and Denmark. So item one is gonna be Copenhagen. So that's what this first one is gonna produce, a value of Copenhagen. Okay, the next item uh, is, well, there's a list, it's the same uh, capital cities and countries. Item one of this list is gonna be Quito and Ecuador. And then item two of that is gonna be Ecuador. So this is gonna return Ecuador. 
Okay, number eight. What numbers belong in the two blanks in the item of blocks to make this expression report 830? So 830 lives in the first, second, third primary bucket third primary bucket so it's going to be item three of this list and then item three is going to produce this list i'm going to report this entire list and then if we just need 830 it's going to be item one two three four so on the outside item it's going to be item four of item three of list so a four and a three the curriculum has been brought to you by beauty and joy of computing in association with UC Berkeley, also the National Science Foundation, EDC, and the SEP program at the New York City Department of Education.